Hello everyone, my name is Paul and I'm a teacher of English. Here is my next educational video that has been recorded for the first time in the vertical format, so that you can watch it on your smartphone comfortably. I hope you will like it. Ok, let's get started. The first question. Where do you live? What's your home like? What do you like about your place? What don't you like? Think about some good and bad things of living there before you move on. Here is the essential vocabulary in today's lesson. Look at the words 1 to 6 and match them with the pictures A to F. Pause the video and complete the task. And look at the answers. Were you correct? Are they the same as yours? And another way of checking the meaning. Match the words 1 to 6 with their explanations or synonyms A to F. Here are the answers. Are yours the same as mine? Let's focus on three keywords now. Urban, suburban and rural. Look at the explanations or synonyms and the photos B, E and A. Urban means related to the city. Rural related to the countryside. And suburban is somewhere in between, at the edge or outskirts of the city. Pronunciation practice. Listen and repeat. Advantages. Disadvantages. Urban. Suburban Rural Amenities In this part of the video, you are going to learn about the advantages and disadvantages of living in the city and the countryside. You look at the specific ideas and examples. After that, you will learn some useful words and phrases to compare and contrast the city and the countryside. And finally, you'll be able to deliver your own speech. Let's begin! First, urban life. Look at the set of photos. And name the advantages. What makes living in the city good, comfortable, convenient? Do you have any other ideas? Here are some downsides of city life. Look at the photos and identify them. What are the problems of living in the city? Do you agree with them? Is there anything else you want to add? How about rural life? What makes living in the countryside attractive? Look at the set of photos and identify all the pros. Is there anything else you want to add? Finally, what are the disadvantages of rural life? Look at the set of photos and identify the problems. What can make living in the countryside difficult? Do you agree with that? Do you want to add anything to this list? Time to compare the city and the countryside. Here is a list of categories that you can use to compare these two words. Be specific. When you talk about education, mention the kindergarten, schools, universities. By amenities we mean fancy restaurants, swimming pools, playgrounds and so on. Public transport are all the buses, trams, trains, taxis. By culture we mean museums, libraries, theatres, cinemas, concert halls and so on. And when you talk about shopping, mention department stores, shopping centres, supermarkets, grocery stores, markets and so on. Also, use some of these words and phrases when you make sentences comparing the city and the countryside. For example, there are more job opportunities in the city than in the countryside. There is less noise and pollution in the rural areas than in the urban areas. There aren't as many schools and hospitals in the countryside as in the city. Life in the city is faster and more stressful, whereas rural life is slower and more relaxing. In contrast to rural areas, the public transport in the city is usually well developed. Look at the summary comparison of the advantages and disadvantages of these both words.
Here is a simple trick that will make it easier to remember all the categories and arguments. Remember them as the opposites. A lot of job opportunities, few job opportunities, good education, low quality education, access to healthcare, poor healthcare. And the same here, stressful life, relaxing life, noise and pollution, natural environment, high cost of living, low cost of living. It's your time now. Knowing all the advantages and disadvantages of both city and the countryside life, and having learned all the useful words and phrases, answer these questions. Do you prefer to live in the city or in the countryside? Why? And where would you like to live in the future? Answer these questions now. Regarding myself and the question, the city or the countryside? Which one do you choose and why? Well, I think it's a difficult question and a tough decision to make. On the one hand, I love rural life and the countryside because of its nature, peace and tranquility. But at the same time, living in the countryside has a lot of disadvantages and challenges. You have to be physically strong and do a lot of physical work and it's far from everywhere. Living in the city has a lot of advantages that we've mentioned earlier in our lesson, but I really don't like the stress, noise, crowds and pollution there. That's why I've decided to settle down in the suburb of a big city, to have the best of the both worlds. Here I can enjoy nature and a beautiful view from my window, but still having very good transportation links to the center and all the advantages of a big city. What do you think? Do you agree with me? That's everything for today. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.